hello everyone um, okay so in the last video we had a look at um, how to configure um, composers autoload using PSR4 standards but in this video let's take a look at how to configure it using uh, the files um, property okay so let's go to our composer.json so if you remember last time this is what we dealt with so in this um, instance let's um, have a look at another one called files okay so files will be an array of files which you want to include into your um, project manually okay so you'll be asking why do we need to um, use the files um, property of autoload if um, we have something like psr4 okay i'll tell you why because sometimes you just have um uh, let me give you a scenario wherein you might have a file which is not um, have containing classes in it instead it's just a collection of functions and um, even if it did contain classes, let's say that it does not conform to the PSR4 standards, maybe some legacy project that um, you didn't have any control over and that you don't have time to refactor things to conform to PSR4. Okay, so in that case, um, let's create one here. Let's say a uh, new file functions.php. Okay, so let's just say um, concat um, strings. Okay, okay, let's open a PHP uh, tag here. So let's say we have a function here called um, concat strings. Okay, so we just take uh, string one and then uh, string two. So it just returns you the concatenation of string one and string two. Okay, so basically that's all this function does. Okay, so if you wanted to include that into your project, um, how you do it is you'd give it um, just the location of that file in this case um, app for slash functions dot php and it's as simple as that and you can list as many functions uh, sorry you can list as many files you want to include using this method but in this case let's just include that one file okay so i'll go back to my terminal and i'll run the dump autoload um, again okay so let's come here in our index.php and um, let's make use of that so let's comment out everything here except the uh, require statement at the top so let's just say um, concat strings equals to um, concat strings so basically we're going to store the value in a variable and then we're going to echo that out so let's say string one and then string two two and then let's echo that out so echo the result concat strings okay so i'll go back in the browser and when i refresh it says call to undefined function concat strings on line nine okay so let's have a look at where we have an issue so um so functions.php we did include that um let's have a look at our composer here so autoload files so app functions.php so that should exist there since um, it's obviously including that so let's have a look concat strings okay seems like we had a mistake in spelling concat I say concat strings so I'll save that back in the browser refresh says undefined variable concat strings on line 10 um, Yes, that's wrong as well. So we're going to rectify that. Concat strings. Refresh. And as you can see, these two strings we're passing are being concatenated for us. Okay. So, um, so yeah. So, guys, um, that's how you use the files property of um, the autoload feature. And um, basically, that's all it's, um, it's used for. If you have some files that um, you want to include and you don't want to be doing a lot of requires, just list them here as a strings in this array and autoload um, composer will automatically include them for you okay um, so that brings us to the end of this video and i thank you for watching i will see you soon in another video cheers bye bye